Hello and welcome back to another exciting episode of Engineering with Chris. Today we're doing a deep dive in the 501N-4 AHD multi-splitter device. Now for this test setup we have a 6137Q-AHD monitor. Uh, for the cameras connected we have a 770AHD IR camera. We have two 775 left and right AHD cameras. Those are connected to channels 1 and 2. We have our 770 connected to channel three that's feeding into our uh, octopus cable harness. So, so we have camera inputs and then camera outputs and monitor output. So the monitor output, we can see all three images. We can see that channel four is just blank right now, which makes sense because we don't have anything connected to channel four. So now out of the multiplexer, we have our four pin output and that is going into a Y splitter. And I have that going into a monitor here showing the output. And I have it, also have it going into an O2360 device so I can record showing the other output over here. Uh, so now what I want to show you here is that, okay, obviously the image is working over here. Why are we not seeing it on the output over here? That's because this is, this is the default setting right out of the box. So what I suspect is happening here is that the system is set to standard definition. So now I will press and hold cam three for five seconds, wait 13 seconds for the device to reset and we'll reset in AHD. So I'll show that now. So I'll go ahead and press and hold cam three. Okay, device resets. Great, so now we see a camera image here and it's only showing us cam three. So I'll press the okay button and that will get us back to quad view. Great, and so now you notice here, okay, so channel one, two, three, and four is still blank, but wait, what if we don't wanna see this channel four on our output? On the multiplexer box here, we have our channels one through four on off switches. So now I'm gonna switch off channel four and I'll show you the output as we do that. So go ahead and turn that off. System automatically readjusts. So now I have three on top as a stretched image and channels one and two showing down here on the bottom. And that is a quick overview of the RVS 501N-4 multiplexer box.